In this chapter, you will learn about the main categories of haptic devices, the definition of a grounded force feedback haptic device, and existing resources on grounded force feedback devices. In the previous chapter, you saw that human touch sensing is composed of kinesthetic sensing through muscles and joints and tactile sensing via receptors in the skin. Within this context, haptic devices are commonly categorized into kinesthetic or tactile devices based on whether they primarily stimulate the muscles or the skin. Kinesthetic devices include grounded force feedback devices that are stationary robots that are controlled by a human, and ungrounded devices in the forms of exoskeletons, force gloves, or handheld devices that are mounted on the user's body. These devices still provide kinesthetic force to our muscles, but they are not grounded. Tactile devices primarily stimulate the skin. Example tactile devices include your mobile phone with vibration notifications, or a bracelet with multiple vibration actuators. Fingertip devices that press against or stretch your skin to provide contact information. Surface haptic devices that can render friction and texture on a touchscreen and mid-air devices that stimulate the hand by using ultrasound beams. In this course, we will focus on grounded force feedback haptic devices, which are the first and most mature type of haptic technology and are still commonly used to this day. Grounded force feedback devices have matured over the last decades and paved the way for ungrounded and wearable devices. Let's see how they work. A grounded force feedback haptic interface is a robotic device that is mounted to a stationary surface and exchanges kinetic energy with the user. The user typically holds or is attached to an end effector, as seen here. The end effector can measure and modulate the user's position, orientation, force, or torque. Because the force and motion are mainly felt by our muscles from the connection to the surface, the device is called a grounded kinesthetic, or grounded force feedback haptic device, GFF for short. Here is an example of a GFF haptic device. You can see here that the device sits on a table, which is the ground in this case, and the user moves the end effector in space. The device outputs force simulating the sensation of pushing a button, going over a surface, or tapping on it. This device is from the family of Phantom devices. Phantom has been a very influential GFF device in the haptics community. It was originally built as a research prototype and later became a commercial device. The research paper that described the first Phantom device is by Thomas Mazzi and Ken Salisbury in 1994, and it is the most cited paper in haptics. A DIY version of Phantom, as seen in this example by Wooden Haptics, provides similar functionality at a lower cost. You can build this device by laser cutting the pieces and using simple electronics. Pantograph is another influential GFF device from 1994 by Vincent Hayward that moves in two dimensions. A recent DIY version of Pantograph also exists. It is the Haply by Haply Robotics Incorporated. This version can be 3D printed and mounted on a touchscreen to provide force sensations directly to the graphical content on the screen. An important use case for haptic devices is to let users touch objects in virtual reality. Due to the grounded design of GFF devices, they are most appropriate for seated or stationary VR use cases. Haptic Master is an example large-scale GFF device with high force output that has been used for VR applications. Research on grounded force feedback devices started around 1990 and had its beginnings in robotics. Later, haptics evolved into a research field of its own with a growing community of researchers. Since then, hundreds of GFF devices have been invented in the community. These devices have a wide variety of capabilities that makes them appropriate for different applications and use cases. Most of these devices are referenced in an online haptic device library called Haptopedia. It is an ongoing project that aims to create a database for GFF haptic devices and their characteristics. You can use Haptopedia to explore the different devices in the gallery view, or you can go to the timeline view and see how each device was influenced by past devices or inspired future ones. 
You can also see how these devices rank in their attributes, such as cost, obtainability, ease of fabrication, and so on. You can check out the detailed attributes for each device in the summary page or bookmark multiple devices and compare their attributes. Take some time to check it out yourself. In this course, we will be using Haptopedia as a resource to study GFF devices. In this video, you learned about the main categories of haptic devices, the definition of a grounded force feedback haptic device, and a few examples of GFF devices in the Haptopedia database. In the assignments, you will be asked to identify grounded force feedback devices in a set of haptic devices, find a paper that uses GFF device in an application or user study, and describe the goal of the application or study. Check out the course website for more details about the assignments.